Hey guys, it's Carrie. Lots of hungry animals at the zoo today. I really love the crocodiles. And the lemurs back getting into trouble again. The hippos need to cool off. They'll be going for a swim. We get to feed all the animals later. This is the Gaur bull. It is the largest species among the wild cattle. The American bison. A musk ox. Their musky odour has the effect of attracting females during mating season. And a yak. Sarah is going to help them get into their new enclosure. Musk ox, American bison, gower bull, and yak. Next, we have some unusual animals. An armadillo. A giant tortoise. And it's young. Armadillos have a leathery armour shell and long sharp claws for digging. They have short legs but can move quite quickly. Here come the tiger family. This one's a Bengal tiger. There are four cubs all together. Bengal tigers live in India and are sometimes referred to as Indian tigers. They are the most common tiger and number about half of all wild tigers. Over many centuries, they have become an important part of Indian tradition and legends. Now these are my favourites today. We've got a load of crocodiles. This is a Nile crocodile. We've got a white crocodile there. All crocodiles are semi-aquatic and tend to congregate in freshwater habitats such as rivers, lakes and wetlands. All crocodiles are tropical species that unlike alligators are very sensitive to cold. And a little one there. With crocodilians, although they appear similar, crocodiles, alligators and the gharial belong to separate biological families. They love the water and love sunning themselves on the rocks. I'm going to show you what it looks like from above. The hippopotamus family has just arrived and I can see the lemurs hitched a ride. Hippopotamus is the third largest type of land mammal and the heaviest extant artiodactyl. Hippos are recognisable by their barrel shaped torsos, wide opening mouths, revealing large canine tusks. Their bodies are nearly hairless. Their legs are large and column shaped to support their heavy body. Oh, the Nile crocodile is staring up those hippos. Nile crocodiles, lions and spotted hyenas are known to prey on young hippos. To cool off, they like to wallow in the water. The hippo is among the most dangerous animals in the world. 
due to its highly aggressive and unpredictable nature. They are also threatened by habitat loss and poaching for their meat and ivory canine teeth. This one's hungry, but it's nearly time to feed the animals. Here's trouble. Sarah knows the lemur likes carrots, but unfortunately he takes off with them before she can secure him. We've got some beautiful antelope here. These are the giant sable antelopes. There's two of those. And this is the ibex with the long curved horns. And a Himalayan tar with a very shaggy warm coat. This is the male. And this one is the female, Himalayan tar and ibex. I'm going to feed them first. Look at those hungry hippos looking at them. I'll feed the hippos next, put them out of their misery. Here's the crocodiles. Look out for those sharp teeth. I'm dropping fish in the water. They'll probably eat them later. Oh, he's got his now. And these two didn't waste any time either. Back in the water. I know the tigers will come down when they smell the food. Armadillo has bad eyesight and relies on sniffing and shuffling around in the dirt to get food. It likes insects and bugs. The giant tortoise is eating lots of green food today. So the garble and yak are going first. The yak is on the right hand side. And here's the American bison. And the muskox joins in as well. Well, that was another fun day at the zoo. I really love those crocodiles. And here we have the hippos, the giant sable antelope, the Himalayan tar and the ibex. And we all know these are tigers. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. And from the top we have the muskox, the American bison, the gowbull and the yak, the giant tortoise and the armadillo. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.